An investigator from the FBI Washington field office called McCaughey's actions violent, barbaric, and completely out of control. Many of his alleged actions were caught on camera. It was chaos in the Lower West Terrace of the U.S. Capitol on January 6th as rioters tried to push through Capitol officers in full riot gear. Amid the turmoil, cries of pain could be heard from Officer Daniel Hodges. <laughs> The infamous images of Hodges being crushed in a doorway have led to the arrest of Patrick McCaughey of Ridgefield, Connecticut. He's being charged with civil disorder, violent entry, disorderly conduct, and assaulting an officer. There was film footage that shows uh, McCaughey uh, as he's in the process of crushing this uh, officer. FBI investigators allege that McCaughey used the police riot shield to pin Hodges into the doorway, allowing others to rip off his mask, showing his bloodied mouth. The guy ripping my mask off, and he, uh, he, was, he was able to rip away my baton and beat me with it. And, um, you know, he was practically foaming at the mouth. Investigators identified McCaughey through viral clip, security footage from the Capitol, and a selfie taken right on the scaffolding of the west front of the Capitol. A video tweeted at the D.C. Police Department shows a man matching McCaughey's description. I'm not doing anything. But you are. I'm just a regular person like everybody else here. Neighbors in McCaughey's Ridgefield neighborhood were surprised by the news. They say he's quiet and that they've had minimal interactions with him. Seeing his picture on the news was a shock. Regardless of if it was just a trespass in the Capitol or if someone planted a pipe bomb, you will be charged and you will be found. FBI investigators say McCaughey could be heard repeatedly telling Officer Hodges to go home and you're going to get squished. Investigators say McCaughey tries to alert other officers of Hodges' injuries, saying, let this guy through, he's hurt. McCaughey then uses his shield against other officers. It is sending a very strong message uh, about uh, this type of activity that it will not be tolerated, especially in our nation's capital. McCaughey appeared in New York federal court on Wednesday. He is set to appear in Washington, D.C. next. The FBI continue to look for people who were involved in this violent riot. They say if you have any information to call 1-800-CALL-FBI. In Ridgefield, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.